Hey guys, welcome to a terrific Tuesday. This is Kevin Happy Chappy Gilbert. Just wanted to talk to you very quickly today about a couple of things I've learned over my years in sales. And uh, really there are three reasons why anyone will ever buy anything from you. They like you, they believe you, and they trust you. Now if someone doesn't buy something from you, it doesn't necessarily mean it's anything to do with you. Most of the time it's not. Think about that. You've all been in that situation where you're at home and someone knocks on the door and you're right in the middle of the dinner and maybe the kids haven't done well at school that day. So when you come to the door, you're not in the frame of mind to talk to anyone. So it didn't really matter what that person was doing. It just was the wrong time for you. So it's a lot about timing. So in sales or building any business, you've got to realize that when you talk to someone, it might not be the right time for them. But just because you've spoken to them once about something doesn't mean it's done for them. And if they say no to you, that's fine. Someone else is going to say yes. And you just got to keep going until you find that yes. And the best, best people in this industry, they're the people that don't let the no's affect them. They can hear a hundred people say no to them in the day, and it just doesn't matter to them because they know they're going to find a yes. And you know, if you get affected by people telling you no, then when you do come across that positive person and you don't have that right energy and that enthusiasm and that big smile, then that person isn't going to buy from you because of those people that have said no to you all day. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like people affecting my day. I like to be in charge of my own day. Now, yesterday, I'll tell you a very quick, funny story. I was talking to a gentleman and he was talking to me about different languages they have on TV and that people should like... If they grew up in this country, then they should speak English and etc, etc, etc. And really wasn't that nice a guy. And he finished the conversation by asking me when I came to America. And I told him 2006. And then he asked me if I was a citizen. And I said, no, I'm not yet. He told me to go home. I could have got really mad, got in a fight with him, got upset, gone storming home. I laughed and used it as a story with everyone else on the street. And they thought it was hilarious. And I think it's what got me one of my sales. But, you know, it doesn't matter. It's how you choose to react to anything in life. You have the choice. Someone can be rude to you, and you can choose to get upset by it, or you can just feel sorry for them because they're having a bad day, and maybe they need a hug, as someone told me. So the next time someone's rude to you, just think in your mind, oh, poor person, that someone really needs to hug them today. So have a great day, guys. I'm off out, and I will check in with you guys again tomorrow. Please like my YouTube channel and uh, my Facebook page that's below. And stick some comments on here if there's some things you'd like to hear. Let me know and I'll try and get around to them for you. This is Kevin, Happy Chappy Gilbert, signing out.